Now, if you've ever taken part in any sort of team sport, then you know that in order to truly be part of a team, you have to play according to a game plan. That's just how games work. And, and in the same way, Jesus has made a certain way and put certain things together so that we function. And in order for us to function the way Jesus has intended for us as a church, then we need to follow these principles that he's already put in place. Now, Jesus' disciples never really functioned as the church until after Pentecost. Jesus actually told his disciples to sit down, to wait it out and wait until Pentecost. See, because he realized that in order for them to function as he had intended, they would need the empowerment of the Holy Spirit. And today, you and I, we, the church, need the empowerment of the Holy Spirit to have an impact on the world. And that means we rely on God and not our own strength or our own wisdom to live this life and to fight spiritual battles. Now, Jesus said this, that people will know that we are his disciples and his followers by the way we love each other. We love God, we love fellow believers, and we love people who have not yet even come to accept Jesus. You see, if we aren't moved by love, then we simply aren't moved by God. We value people because God made them, and we respect people because there is something of God in each and every one of us. Even if that good thing, that God thing doesn't always show up. You see, the church has many members with different functions and we need each other. To be the church is to take your place and to thank God that people can take their place alongside you. Just like there is no space for spectators in the middle of the field, when the game is on, there is no space for spectators in the church. You've been given specific functions, specific roles, talents, and gifts. And if you're not there, then the whole team misses out. Now, we're called to be united. We're not called to be uniform. We're working toward the same goal, yes, but we do things a little bit differently, bringing our own strengths, our own specialities, and choosing them for the benefit of all. See, we are called to be a royal priesthood. We are all priests. All of us have a ministerial role and God has placed us in different locations so that we can have an impact on the world in every area. Now there are people you're going to reach that no one else is able to reach. And so the place you find yourself in today is the place where God has called you to be the bringer of his good news. Now, if we're all ministers, then why do we need pastors? That's a good question. See, pastors alongside prophets, apostles, evangelists, teachers, they're all called to equip the church. They're like coaches helping us to play the game. And so they teach us to be more like Jesus so that we can go out, so that we can teach and reach others. The church goes out. That is our mission. But we also come back together. Like a team huddle, we come back together, we encourage one another, and we discuss the game plan. The Bible encourages us to meet up. The Bible encourages us not to avoid this. Now, meetings and gatherings, they, they look different from time to time. Sometimes we gather in small groups. Sometimes we gather in large groups. And all of this is good. Both of these are needed, and they serve different purposes. Now, sometimes we have to get creative to meet up. And technology helps us with that. And I agree with you a million times over, nothing is better than meeting in person. But what is most important is that we meet up and don't miss out on fellowship together. What I find amazing about all of this, what I find incredible about all of this, is that God's game plan works for every situation. And like you, sometimes I'm tempted to, to stray away from the game plan but you see, when we do so, we find ourselves playing according to the strategy of the enemy. And that just won't work. So what is your function in the church? Are you playing according to the game plan? We're going to dive a little bit deeper into this in our connection.